We're here at Paoli Peaks with Caleb, and today we're gonna to learn a little bit about snowboarding. Caleb, what are we doing today? So today we are doing park, learning to hit jumps and rails. Okay, so when we're going for a jump, how do I hit it without killing myself? So what I always like to teach people is the best analogy is just imagine an airplane. Whenever an airplane is taking off, it's not wobbling back and forth. It's going straight where it needs to go. As it leaves, wheels come up, it's traveling through the air, it's relaxed. Whenever it's about to land, wheels come back down. As it lands, the wheels absorb the landing and the pressure and then continues on its way. Sounds easy enough. You wanna show me some jumps? Teach me how to do it? Yeah. I think I'm ready to kick it up a notch. Alright, so we're going to go for a rail. What are, what are we looking to do on the rail? The key for this is the approach. Line up to it at least 15 feet before it. When you get onto the rail, bend your knees, relax, slide all the way across. Same thing when you land. When you leave the rail, absorb the landing, bend your knees, right off. Alright, sounds good. So your second piece of advice, speed is your friend. The less time you spend on the rail, the less time you have to mess up. All right. Oh. All right, so done a few runs. We've learned how to successfully hit the jump and the rail. What do you say this time we try and put them together, hit them both? That sounds good to me. Show me how it's done. All right. Caleb, we survived. How do you think we did? I think for a first time we did awesome. All right, that's what I like to hear. If you at home want to learn how to snowboard or improve your existing skills, go to paleopeaks.com for more information on lessons. Until next time, I'm Will Weibel, WHAS 11 News.